assalamu alaikum guys how are you i hope you're doing good and today in this video i will show you how you can install one ui in any android device as you can see here here we have the launcher from one ui home and the quick settings and notification panel for one hand usage as you can see here it looks really amazing pretty much cool so uh, the both are working fine uh, here we have all available features like as you can see here I created folders and you can also manage the settings so without any further ado let's get started <laughs> So first of all let me show you a short review of both application first to uh, first of all uh, I will show you the review of uh, one UL launcher which is working good from here you can add pages in the home screen and delete the pages you can also add widgets and you can also uninstall the widgets then you can manage the home screen settings from here you can change the home screen layout to the home and apps screen and all the home screen and uh, as you can see here the both modes are working good but I will use the home and app screen because it looks really cool and amazing then you can also create the folders as you can see here I created uh, many folders and the animations looks really amazing and then you can add uh, uh, the screen home screen grid if it asks for the permission then always click on the always button and from here you can change the home screen grid and then you can change the app screen grid from here after it you can add the apps button on the home screen but it looks uh, really awkward in 2020 then you can enable app icon badges and you can also lock home screen layout then you can uh, enable some features like swipe down for notification if you just uh, disable this then it will show you the app drawer and if you enable this it will uh, show you the notification panel and quick settings after it we have rotate to landscape mode and you can also hide the applications just like the Samsung devices it is working pretty good and the animations look really amazing and uh, there is no any bug or issue in this application so the animations look really amazing as you can see here opening and core closing animations are pretty good and its recents are just amazing mind-blowing as you can see here they will work uh, beautifully as you can see here at the bottom it is showing the app suggestions at the top we have the search bar and then we have the setting option from the setting you can enable or disable the suggested apps and they looks really amazing and uh, from by clicking on the application icon you can get some uh, options like app info split screen and uh, uh, you can also lock the app in the recents i just cleaned all application from the recent bus but this app uh, this app was not cleaned because i just locked this app so this launcher is working pretty much good uh, on long press it will show you the shortcuts and uh, in the app drawer settings you can sort the application by custom order and alphabetically order then you can clean pages and then you can change the home screen settings uh, you can also uh, manage the folder colors and as you can see here this launcher was made for one hand so you can access any application or anything uh, on this launcher with one hand so as you can see here it is opening the apps quickly 
the animations are also good now let's talk about the quick settings and notification panel of one ui as you can see here it is also made for one hand usage and it is also looking pretty beautiful and it is working fine uh, here you can also enable the trigger as you can see here just slide from the trigger and the uh, notification and the notification panel will go down from here you can change the button order like you can add or uh, delete the uh, shortcuts then we have the search bar from here you can also change the button grid uh, we will talk about this later then we have the option of helper setup uh, from this setup you can learn about this application completely and then uh, the overall usage and animations of quick settings are also pretty good it is working fine as you can see here now let's move to the installation so first of all you need to download three files from the link in the description first one is the one ui home launcher second one is the one shade for quick settings and notification panel then we have the quick switch magic's module zip file your device must be rooted if you have not rooted your device then why the video from the link in the description and root your device after rooting your device open up the magic's manager click on these three lines go to modules click on add button and locate your downloaded quick switch Ma magics module zip file and just simply click on the zip file it will automatically start to flashing it and after a little bit time it will show you a reboot button just click on this reboot button and it will reboot your device so this method will work on almost uh, every android device like if you are on miui or on other custom rooms then this method will work so as you can see here i am using the have work os 3.3 and it is working perfectly After installing uh, the Magix module, just uh, locate your downloaded APK files and install the one launcher and the one shade APK file like normal APK files. After installing them, go uh, to your app drawer and open up the quick switch. It will be added automatically, but we will uh, modify the one shade uh, first. Just click on own button and it will ask for some permission. Just uh, allow the permissions. now the notification uh, panel and quick settings of one ui is working perfectly you can make changes in the layout uh, you can change its quick setting icon shape and you can also modify smart cor corners you can also change the grid and rows grid then you can also change the colors uh, from here just click on the auto dark mode and you can also enable the dynamic color notifications uh, then in the heads up we have some settings and in the extras just uh, keep it uh, default and in the edit trigger enable it after making some changes just uh, turn it off and turn it on again for effective uh, changes and now as you can see here it is working fine and here we also have the trigger uh, at the right side now let's um, launch uh, the launcher and modify it go to your app drawer and open up the quick switch at the first it will ask for root permission just click on grant button 
and then click on the one ui home and it will ask for confirm just click on ok and it now it is applying the module as you can see here it will automatically reboot your device so don't worry after rebooting it it will ask for default launcher just select the one ui home and now the one ui launcher has been applied on your device as you can see here at starting it will uh, do uh, some lags uh, but after a little bit time and little bit use it will be normal so as you can see it is working fine everything is working perfectly so hope you like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe on my channel keep supporting thanks for watching peace and also follow my social media uh, accounts from the link in the description peace